think, if you dared, of visiting a black hole and hovering there for a while. And there, in the slow-running time shells close to the black hole, perhaps only a few years would pass while hundreds of years were passing on Earth. Maybe you'd like to imagine yourself as twin brothers, testing this theory. The adventurous one is my twin brother, Peter. And my cautious one is... <laughs> Albert. And Peter wanted very badly to investigate this black hole. <laughs> He's always been reckless. You coming? You silly boy. Ah! <laughs> it's gonna be great up there. Not certain. How about that? That's the last we've seen of Peter on this earth, anyway. Would I dare make the imaginary journey to the black hole now proposed? Well, why not? Take care. I shook the dust of the 20th century from my feet as my imagination bounded towards the black hole. I'm just nosing in towards the black hole. No. I'm just moving in towards the black hole now. Well, at least that black hole has slowed down the hectic pace of his life, but I only hope to God he takes care. of time seemed entirely normal to me, but on the Earth, it was evidently racing along. The gravitational effects don't change the actual clockwork mechanism. Nonetheless, from your point of view, you might see my clock running at a different rate. Pictures from the Earth showed the days passing in a matter of minutes. I saw who won the Grand National in 1990, but I shan't tell. It was hard to make out what Albert was saying in Mission Control. Uh, anyway, you're, you're with us in spirit and we'll be able to celebrate any moment now. Yes! A happy new century! Uh, uh, Peter, yes. Uh, uh. Miss the bloody bottle! <laughs> yeah, that's a European spry. What? Yes, you do. Twenty-first century? Yeah. We're still twenty years <laughs> off, I reckon. As years passed on Earth and only months on my spaceship, my greatest concern was for Albert. My twin brother was aging before my eyes. As for me, I was only a few months older. Well, it would appear that, that Mr. Uh, Ein uh, Stein was, was right, eh, Peter? Oh, uh, 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 uh. Uh, as you can see, I'm still trying to look after you in spite of the... Uh, nurse. Uh, 
It wasn't long before the earth forgot all about me. Time to go home. Before I could even think of playing Rip Van Winkle in the world of the 21st century, there was one visit I had to make. this time travel by means of gravity seemed a joyless enterprise. There was no method for retracing my steps through Einsteinian time and returning to the 20th century. It's not only gravity that, that affects the rate of a clock and so the passage of time. Even motion can do that. And Einstein showed that already in 1905, ten years before he developed the general theory of relativity. What Einstein showed was that if an observer moves out into interstellar space at high speed and finding himself amongst the stars then turns round and comes back at close to the speed of light, while the journey for him will seem short, for the people who stay at home, it will seem much longer. For instance, he will find that he has aged less during that journey than the person who has stayed at home. A little lonely up here in space. Long after I'd fired my motors to turn for home, my twin brother, Albert, was still receiving signals sent by me on the outward leg of the journey. Again, time seemed to me to pass normally. But it was in this melancholy phase of my return journey that I observed poor Albert growing older by the hour. <laughs> Just as for the visit to the black hole, this high-speed relativistic flight plan took me on a one-way ticket into the 21st century. Although he lived before the space age, Einstein made many imaginary journeys like this. Gedanken experiments, thought experiments, the physicists call them. One could imagine that the organism, after an arbitrarily lengthy flight, could be returned to its original spot in a scarcely altered condition, while corresponding organisms, which had remained in their original positions, <laughs> had long since given way to new generations. 